next to the norm to take the privilege of sitting there as surrogate. Choo choo, Oko is he here? Choo, are you here? I'll come and sit next to your mom. A round of applause. The chairperson of the inaugural lecture series of Nanda Zikiwe University. The deans, directors of our great university. Emeritus Professor Rob Eguatu, and former Deputy Vice Chancellor of Agri University, Professors Eguatu and Professor Mwana, Professor Tina Okoye, Tina Nerka Okoye, the teacher of many teachers. You can see the son, already a reader. Very soon, he will also profess and will behave and do the same thing just from the hope, from the classroom in the university. So she's, uh, he is taking the footsteps of um, the mother as well. So invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, today, is another history already met because we are here for the 36th inaugural lecture of um, Nanda Zikiwe University. I'm, I'm indeed excited because when I walked into this uh, arena, I saw a lot of people. My first impression, I said, oh. Professor Tino Koye is a lady. I saw a lot of priests. I saw a lot of reverend sisters. I was almost tempted to ask her whether she attempted to be a reverend sister. <laughs> because I know that uh, for those who attempted to become reverend fathers, I missed it. When they are having any event, their classmates that are priests will always be there. And I said, what of this? What is the connection? Too many fathers are here. Too many reverend fathers are here. A lot of religious people are here. So again, I, as I said, I've always known her as a very good teacher. Not just as a lecturer. So today, we've been summoned, we've been invited to come and drink from that fountain. The citation will be read, it is obvious that Professor Tino Koye has been a teacher and she's been teaching, producing several other teachers. For some of us, we only see her as a lecturer, professor in the Department of Modern European Languages. But for me, I know that when she speaks, you will see the consciousness of learning other languages, that is French. French. Even her Igbo accent is colored with uh, French. So today, we are going to listen to her. We are going to learn a lot from her. We are also going to understand the essence of uh, getting internationalized. That is exactly what we are doing in this university. Modern European languages have started with French, but in this administration we have said that we are not going to end with only one option. So currently we are streaming other languages, such as German, Spanish, and we have already introduced uh, Chinese. So today is her own day. In the address, at the moment you become a professor, you are in Z. You are in Z. Permanent member of Senate. Granted, in Aibo balance, women are not allowed to talk to the mouth. But in the university system, 
at the level of professorship. Every professor is equal. Before the law. Before the law. But again, at her level, she has been a professor for some time now. Many people might not have had the opportunity to appreciate her rare expertise and um, also understand how to learn and drink from this um, human resource and gifts to humanity. So here at the Nandazike where you rise, this is our culture. This is what we give to humanity. This is what we give to the society. So from time to time, we celebrate our people, we celebrate our professors, we celebrate them when they march. So this is our 36th edition of this series of the same celebration. So I welcome all of us to please relax. By the time we will leave here, we will learn new things. I wouldn't know whether she's going to speak in French or English or Igbo or in any other tongue. But we are sure that in this audience, we have those that understand the German, we have those that understand French, we also have those that understand Spanish, we, understand, we have those that understand Japanese, we have those that understand um, Chinese, we have those that understand Igbo and other languages. So no matter the language of choice, the Holy Spirit will interpret for all of us. <laughs> because the reverend fathers and reverend sisters are here. So the moment they bless anything that comes uh, from her, we will go home enriched and really enriched. So I implore all of us to please be patient with us for one hour or thereabouts as we listen to this our sister, our mother, our teacher or teachers, trainer or trainers, and this great gift to humanity and to the academic community as we celebrate her for the 36th inaugural lecture of Nanda Zikiwe University. Welcome to Nanda Zikiwe University, the university of all times, the university that is not just doing teaching and exporting you no know, products, graduates and then um, higher degree holders, but mainstreaming entrepreneurship in the land as well as what we call now the agropreneur and the transpreneur. That is part of what we are gathered here for. Thank you, and may God bless all of us. As we listen to us.
Shogun of the Igbo race during the Biafra War, Gimbe, Ikemba, Nebu, Chukwu. Wrote the book and said, because I'm involved, I'm going to break tradition because I am involved. That woman standing there is my mother. Yeah? That's my mother, that's my brother. So you can imagine the welling up of emotions when I want to read through a dry paper about my own mother. So I have to talk extempore. Mommy. <laughs> um, I, I, I coined up something. I said, um, the coincidences and serendipity of life awes us with its awesomeness. Tina Okoye is married to Tony Okoye and they are from Amoji in Agro. My late father, Benedict Okoye, was married to Benedict Okoye, and they are from Noah in Agro. Incidentally, Tony and Tina sponsored the wedding ceremony of Benedict and Benedict. And his first son is Chu, and my parents' first son is Chi. <laughs> Incidentally, Tony retired the principal, my mother retired the principal. She read French in uh, Besançon, France. My father read French in uh, Dijon, France. I didn't uh, agree to read French, so when I invoke Evo, understand I don't mean wasps. It means my knowledge of French is very limited. So when I say Evo, forgive me, Mom. Thank you. Tina Okoye was born in the Navy almost 70 years ago. Actually, she pulled my ear and told me, I said, there's no problem to that. I will handle it the best way I can. Well, she got married to Ago, of course, no other place where you get married to and you retain your happiness, see how she's been. <laughs> And uh, she finished in 1966 from Holy Rosary Secondary School in Yama Oro with her West African uh, school certificate and uh, proceeded in 1972. I came out from Loreto Teacher Training College as with her teacher's grade 2 certificate and went further <laughs> to Albany Koko College of Education where she, where she got her uh, National Certificate of Education in French Education in 1978. She didn't stop there. She went to Uni uh, University of Nigeria in Suka in 1986 and came out with a Bachelor of Arts honors in French. She was not tired. 1991 saw her coming out of the same UNN with a Master's in African Literature in French. And in 2000, she proceeded to the Centre de la Linguistique Appliquée en France and got a diploma on cinema from the long ultra <laughs> uh -huh. Now, she didn't end what she did there. She has a lot of awards to her person. Merit Award for Outstanding Women Leadership, presented by Women in College of Education in Subway, 2015. Awards of Excellence and Service to Humanity, presented by the Association for Women in College of Education, 2015 again. In our own village, they said, Adebam Mwesimu Nobelo Potaba, Award of Excellence, Mural of Knowledge, presented by Sir Monica Kati, Women Organization, Amoji Village, Agoro, 2014. Meritorial Service Award, as Neoma Agoro, in recognition of contributions and continuous service towards the growth of Agro Town by Agro People's Union National Women Wing, 2012. In her research experience, she saddled from being the secretary of Nigerian Association of French Teachers from 1987 to 1990 and worked her way up to being the sub-dean faculty of arts of this outrageous institution from 2010 to 2012. She had headed the Department of Modern European Languages 2007-2008 was also acting head of the same department from 2004 to 2006. She has headed and coordinated an embraced French language center and has also been the state coordinator of French programs, has also headed the Department of French Moore College of Education in Sudan, where she actually started her teaching career. 
In other places, she was general president, CW Organization Catholic Chaplain Sioka from 92 to 95, general president, CW St. Thomas Aquinas Parish, Orca, 2006 to 2009, and as a member of uh, a member of various committees, I don't know where to start. Uh, I'll just pick one or two. Member Faculty of Arts Research, Research Committee, Research Grant Committee, 2008-2010. Uh, she was also member NCCE accreditation team between the years of 2007-2010. She was also a member National Commission for Colleges of Education accreditation team from 2003 to 2010. Member Board of Directors, American Biographical Institute, 2007 to date. Member Committee on Chinese Language Studies, UNISIC. Faculty of Arts Representative to Senate. Chairman of Faculty of Arts Examination and Practice Committee. In fact, it's too much. The last time I read something in this way, I said I'm tired. But if I cannot name, I will not tire of my duty. Or else, a man, a young sweet, and chewing gum. In her research and publications, which number over 40, comprising of papers, journal articles, books, conference proceedings, conference papers, and so authored books, there are two numerals to mention here, and that also includes edited works. At this point, I will take a break so that we will hear from her, and I pray that my little French does not desert me, the ones I memorized last night. That's the truth. Incidentally, before I go into that, I will tell you that she rose to the rank of professor in 2010. Now, let me speak my smarter in French. Un grand mari. I mean my great mother. Un grand professor. The great professor. Makanda Amaranka. On the grand farm, the great lady, and la farm magnifique. <laughs> Thank you. I present to you, Professor of uh, Literature of Paris.
am greatly humbled by the opportunity given to me to stand here before this audience of great repute. I consider it a rare privilege to see myself standing before these August visitors, colleagues, and students to highlight my academic activities, collaborations, and contributions to scholarship. The inaugural lecture to Borocham of Paris Words gives the professor the opportunity to announce his arrival on the intellectual firmament. Here I am today to do this. But can anything be possible without the approval and the blessing of the Almighty God, the Alpha and the Omega, the giver of life? This is the day that he has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in him. Justina is the last child of Chief and Mrs. Henry Ezani, Henry Machuko Ezani Sr., of Umu Rineni in Anocha local government, married to Sir Anthony Okoye, commando from Akolo in Anocha local government. Justina's marriage is blessed with children that are God sent. Justina attended Holy Rosary Primary School at Azinuku and Holy Rosary Secondary School in Yoma Odo under the Irish sisters. In my secondary school and WASC, I did other courses including three languages, French, English, and Latin. This is how this being standing before you here today chose French language through the instrumentality of Mr. Max Wynn, a Canadian who taught us French language. I stand here, therefore, to express my profound gratitude to my parents, my brothers and my sisters, especially my only surviving immediate elder brother, Mr. Henry Mwachukwezani Jr. Ajoku Namantiola, and Lady Angie Onyuke, who vowed to see me scale through all hurdles on my way to success. May all glory be given to God, for loving, for the loving, kind, wonderful, patient, and most unassuming husband that he gave me. Behind every successful woman, there is a man, a patient man, an understanding man. I cannot thank God enough for the wonderful, God-fearing, and loving children he gave us. May God bless you all. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. My immense gratitude goes to my wonderful formators at the then Department of Modern Languages, University of Nigeria and Soka. Professors P. Ebuna Modum, A.U. Ohebu, Prof. Egonu, late Dr. Chuma Ijoma, late Prof. Mwuzuzu, Prof. Obioma Nemeka, Prof. Abanimi and Prof. Max Okudie. Then at the University of Port Harcourt, my Ebuyen Supervisor, Chief Chidi Madoka, my brother in Christ, Prof. Charlie Nolim, Nolim, and my soul sister, Prof. Helen Chukuma. May God bless all of you. Here in Namdazikiwe, I must remain ever grateful to my mentor, Professor Rob Eguato, who, who encouraged me and urged me on to scale through the hurdles that confronted me in my PhD. The then Vice Chancellor, Professor Dochoka, for who liberated me from the clutches of delay. Professor B.C. Eboka, who wasted no time in calling for my papers on graduation. And then, the incumbent Vice Chancellor, an ebullient vice chancellor, a tireless vice chancellor, a wonderful vice chancellor, Professor Joseph Eberendua Haniku, whose kindness and goodwill made my professorship a reality. Thanks a million fold for making this impossibility possible. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, history is made in the Department of Modern European Languages, French option of the Faculty of Arts. Namdiazikiwe University today, as the first lecturer of that department, is presenting an inaugural lecture since its creation. <laughs> when people heard that someone from modern European languages was to present an inaugural lecture, they wondered what language the presenter would embark on. Will she address the public, which is Anglophone in French? Vice Chancellor Sir. It may interest all of us to know that I did education in my NCE program, specialized in African literature in French in my master's program, and then PhD was in my comparative literature, French and English. Why comparative literature? Before we can say why comparative literature became my choice of discipline, let us know what comparative literature is. 
comparative literature as the discipline champions the cause of unity among various peoples of a nation, region, and world. It is an interdisciplinary subject, a branch of literary scholarship, which examines affinities existing between texts written in different languages and brings out the points of convergence and divergence between literary texts. This includes other related art forms as music, dance, painting, philosophy, political science, and so on. Chidi Madoka, comparative literature guru, insists that the aim of comparative literature is to break down barriers of parallelism artificially created by the existence of different, often competing language departments, creative arts units, and various departments, so as to promote knowledge as a united, integrated and indivisible phenomenon that can be maximally used for the solution of human problems. To be a practicing comparatist, therefore, one has to show a mastery of languages, especially those that form the cornerstone of his or her scholarship. This presenter is seasoned in English language, seasoned in French language, seasoned in Igbo language, and a little bit of German language. Furthermore, see